Hey guys, welcome out to the messy shop today and today we're going to be working on the 1978 Chevette scooter. working on the gas tank replacing the gas tank in the car and I'll show you here what we're working on the sending units for these cars they don't remake so we ended up having to do some repairs on the sending unit and it's not necessarily pretty but you know what this car is a driver it's not really a show car so um, it's good enough um, when we pulled the sending unit off we thought well no big deal we'll just get another sending unit for it not a big deal right since it's a Chevy GM product we figured it'd be no problem with sending it they don't make sending units for these cars as many of these cars as there was on the road, they don't make a sending unit for it. So we were forced to use the original one, which was on the outside pretty darn rusty. So we ended up cutting the tubes off. Um, I'll kind of try to bring you in here and show you. We ended up cutting the tubes off around here and putting new tubes on the lower portions of it. Kind of just, you know, tack welding or welding those on there, soldering them on there rather, I should say, and uh, patching some of the holes. And then we used a gas tank sealer over top of all that and then paint over top of that so I was able to clean up the um, connection for the positive connection right here and we do have to um, solder the ground on here yet the male end on here that we can plug in for the ground wire to plug that in there and for that so we just it would clean up all underneath this, the whole unit but it does work we did test it and do a bench test on it, it does work properly so that's a good thing so we're probably just going to put it in but um, before we put it in, we did notice underneath the car when we were crawling underneath there, you know, we knew that the car did have a couple areas that were kind of problem areas. So we're going to take you guys and show you kind of what we're going to be working on today. We're going to go ahead and redo some of these while we're under here before the gas tank goes in. Before the tank goes in. So over here on this side, this is one of the rotted out areas and this is behind the rear quarter on the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, you can see they got a um, B-roll here for strength, but it pretty much comes up into here, comes down right to the outer fender lip of the car. And the outer lip here is really good. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I mean, there's no rust on the outside whatsoever. You see the car was rust proofed at one time um, we do get some work to do up in here to add on to that patch that we do so today we're going to cut this out of here and put a new patch in here and fix this up while we're underneath here the rest of the car is just a lot of scale rust underneath i mean no real rot through it all which is good and pretty rare for these cars um, we do have a couple of spots in the floorboard back here you can see it right up there just starting to break through so we're gonna have to get on that pretty quick here too so but today so we can get the gas tank in the car we really want to go ahead and hit this and get this taken care of um around here so we don't have to mess with it later so we're taking it over to the driver's side of the car this one is nowhere near as bad i mean this one's actually in pretty nice shape yet it is punctured through here in the front but mostly where the rubber drain plugs at there's not really much of a hole there so we might just leave this one for now. I'm not exactly sure. Nothing there to drain now. Like I said, we probably could cut a small piece for that, but I really don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see how the passenger's night goes, what kind of time we got. Because uh, this car really needs to get out of here. Uh, we do have this in the shop here working on this. And we do have other cars that need this spot in the shop. So we do got to hurry up and get this thing fixed and get it out of here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on today. All right guys, I'm checking back in again and I got the patch, where's the patches in on the Chevette. And actually I ended up putting one more patch in there than what I thought I was gonna have to do. But um, let's take you under there and show you real quick. 
So you can see we got the new patch welded in, and uh, I got to go ahead and seam seal it yet. Uh, I got a little bit more grinding yet to do that I wanted to do to smooth out a little bit more. I think it, actually it looks fine. I guess I'm probably going to leave it. But um, yeah, so it's got some seam sealer to do on it yet. Undercoat it and good to go. Um, so that's this one. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys also the um, other patch I had to make. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this very well. But uh, right here, we had to put a patch in right here. Close this in. And I got a seam seal. My weld's here yet. And in here where the seam of the factory seam sealer is, was, I should say. And um, I folded it around the side back here. That's what you've seen those spot welds for. See the spot welds over here? That's what these are for. We wrapped it around. So we can't definitely get no water or anything inside. They're not that this car we drove outside in the weather anymore, but just in case we um, didn't spot weld it, we plug welded it, sorry. Plug welded it around the corner there and that's all good now. And I think I'm gonna hit the other side while I'm at it too. The other side is not as bad as this side was, but I think we'll hit it while we're at it. I mean, the wheel well is in pretty good shape. I just popped the brakes off it while we we're at it and um, the other shot, the drums are really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some new drums coming for that. I wanna clean all the inner wheel well up here. We're gonna clean all that up and uh, get some undercoating on that. I'm gonna order some new shocks for it too. Some rear shocks, because those are completely shot. And you can kind of see I got a little patch to do up there on this side yet now. Just a simple patch here. And I'll probably do another one in the wheel well and wrap around like I did on the other side. And I call that good. Other than that, then the whole back of the car will be done patched to easy repairs for, you know, quickie. Nothing like Christine. This is the driver's side real quick. So there's the driver's side with the factory indention in it. Right here, this is all factory. Factory, the way it's supposed to be. So that side's all done, and we'll scooch along to the passenger side. And this is the passenger side as well, all done. So no more rust rot holes there. That's all good to go. So we got the undercoating done underneath and uh, next up, like I said, we'll be painting the axle and putting the new shocks on and the brakes. All right, we'll grab the light here and show you the inside the wheel wells that we did. This was all gone completely. There was nothing here on the inside of the car at all. So we went ahead and closed up the seam. We didn't want to seam there so anything could get in there. Not that the car we drove in the water and dirt anymore, but. That's kind of how that is. So let's take a look at the other side. Passenger side as well. This is also the same type of thing. Um, this is all gone in the back back here. So we went ahead and put the new piece on there. Got everything ordered for the thing. Um, new shoes, uh, new drums, all new hardware, everything ordered for it, um, except forgot the wheel cylinder. So we do got to order those yet and get those on their way. And then we'll go ahead and get the new brake system put on here as well. All right, so as we're wandering around through the back section of the car, we noticed that there's little holes starting type of thing. Well, this is a hot, lot more than a little hole once we got uh, banging the rust out of the way type of thing. So it ends up actually being the main part where the gas tank brace goes on and the rust collected pretty heavily around there along with if you have any kind of hatch leaks over the years like a rear window of any gm product you see it rots right along the edge right there and that's not a good place to rot we was going to wait because we're not doing a full resto on this car this is just kind of a uh, get it fixed up a little bit type of thing while we got the gas tank off and that's kind of what we were trying to do so it ends up being a lot more work than what we anticipated it to be but this one um, because of the way we had to cut it in brackets and shapes and bends it ended up being a lap weld um, inside of the trunk down here there's a dip down right here where it mounts out so it was very difficult to get the weld built up to that but we was able to drill holes through and plug weld to the gas tank brace so that was great and we was able to get this bend in here up here so the side is uh, nice and that is taken care of you can see this side was pretty bad too we just uh 
rust treated it and primered it and I'm just going to take tape off so we can weld the new pieces. Now this side we could set up so we can butt weld this one in because we're going to do this in two pieces. This is the new piece going in which will go right in there like that and I got to do the side piece here. I'm going to do this side piece separately I think and I did discover another hole here which of course you know the more you patch the more it pops up but this one right here there's a bracket underneath the car that holds the fuel lines right here and of course right up next to that bracket's where it decided to uh, rust off so what i'm going to do is cut i think like a shape out of here maybe a square if i can cut a square out of here with a little notch off there and patch this area right here just put a little patch here weld it in to the brace and smooth it out and then after that you know we'll seam seal some of this stuff up and then do some uh, trunk splatter paint or something over top of the whole thing so since it's a spare tire area so we're doing our best to get this stuff done with the chevette here and when i say we i mean i am doing my best to get things done as quick as possible on the chevette and get this car wrapped up and buttoned up for the winter so it can go off into storage for the winter and then we can mess with it some more next summer next spring so all right guys want to give you an update on that we're going to go ahead and get back to work we got lots of things to replace in this car we got the shocks replaced all the brake system the front and rear brakes so make sure to stick around for more they're here and they're freaking cool. Now is your chance to sport your very own Street Freaks Garage gear with hoodies, t shirts, red cap shop shirts, and the very cool old school red cap club jacket. Hoodies and tees available in both black and lime green. Beanies and caps are coming in soon, and don't forget, you get a free decal with each and every Street Freaks item ordered. Isn't it time to get your free gun? Order yours now. Back again with you on the vet. I've been working on the trunk of this thing and getting those uh, brace sections right there welded back in. We got the two braces welded in. This one here, like I said, this one here was lap welded, which I didn't really care for, but that's kind of the way I had to do it. This one over here was flush. We got this one to sit down flush and butt welded this one. Even though everything looks pretty solid in here, the more I welded and grinded on this side, the more holes it started opening up. Um, so it opened up another one right here, a good size hole. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna take care of it and do it. And that was after I had did this one. This is the hole earlier that was opened up before. And it just like, geez, oh Pete's man. I mean, I did that one, got this one cut ready to go. Noticed that that hole was real small, uh, wired it a little bit and it just opened right up. And that's the one, once I crawled underneath the car, I looked, it was right by a bracket. So, of course, that's right where it holds water. So, I decided I'm going to change that one. Then I did that one, cut that one out, put a new piece of metal in there. Got this one all welded in, was good to go. And then all of a sudden, that other hole popped open too. So, it's been quite a challenge in this little car. I'm going to go ahead and we got to seam seal everything now. Do trunk splatter paint, make it look nice. And uh, it'll be good enough for what we're looking for it for. It'll be a... Uh, driver so I think it's worth the time to do it and put it in it's a sweet little car and um, yeah it's it's a vet scooter I mean it's just cool it's a 78 Chevette scooter and they are the rarest of all of the scooters the lowest production numbers made with the exception of 1976 1976 they made less of the scooters than they did 78 was the second lowest year for the scooter model out of all the Chevettes made, I mean, they made a lot of Chevettes, but a very, very small number of those from the overall number was scooters. So um, I'm pretty happy to have it. I think it's cool. But hope you guys like it out there. If you like it, cool. If you don't, oh, well, tough. Too bad for you. All right, guys, hey, I'm back on the next day working on the vet. Of course, as always, once I grinded another patch around the area, another little tiny hole would show its head, and we took care of all the ones that we need to take care of. So, all right, we ended up go ahead and taking care of doing the two patches that you've seen here. We got them all seam sealed now and everything. We had two patches here, uh, this one and this one over top of the uh, gas tank brackets down below. And we had another little hole here starting its way. So I had to cut a patch there. And um, of course there's a bracket underneath the car right there attached right there. And that's holding water at that area or held water at that area, rod at that area. As I was doing that one, discovered this one over here back in the corner this one here was starting too so cut that section all out type of thing 
got that one all taken care of now that's all good to go and done so thank heavens that that is done now i can go ahead and wait for this uh, seam sealer to dry and we can go ahead and get some primer i'm going to go and clean all this up and uh, wire wheel all this maybe hit it with a rust killer first and then i'll go ahead and prime everything and then we will do the um trunk splatter paint on here and get that all finished looking nice all right guys we're back we got everything patched up seam sealed tore apart cleaned out we're just going through now and spraying some of this rust treatment on everything we wire wheeled everything in here Just put a couple thin coats on but we're doing the right thing and give her some more thin is in the eye of the beholder there so now let that dry i'll come back with some primer to hit that on the bare metal spots basically but i'll prime the whole thing just to give it an extra sealer and then we'll go ahead and put the trunk splatter paint throughout the whole thing and come back and show you guys what it looks like finished and then we then it's time to start you know scrubbing because this is finally done the trunk project's finally done it wasn't supposed to even happen but it's done all right guys there you have it i got a mess out here to clean up and uh take care of this and i think i'm gonna come back and spray this tomorrow let this dry really good overnight actually um, maybe i'll come out later tonight and get some primer on it so i can paint it tomorrow Anyways, it should be good to go. So, all right, guys, I'll check back with you when we get this thing painted and all set to go. All right, you've seen inside the trunk before. This is what it looks like now. We did the trunk splatter paint in the trunk and we pulled the side panels off to access these. Make sure that we got all of our rust protection in the side rails here type of thing so we don't have any rot out issues on the frame rail. Um, we also make sure we cleaned out all of the inner um, quarter panels too while we were in there clean those all out really good all right you can see everything has been all cleaned up sealed up to everything and painted underneath we did get the new shocks installed also on there so that's a big plus we're waiting on some of the brake parts right now um and evidently it's a difficult car to get brake parts for um we're having a tough time getting some parts for this thing finally found the calipers had to order those so we're waiting about a week to get those in so let's take a, a quick, quick show you underneath how things are looking now Hope you guys can see that well. It's kind of dark under there yet, but she's looking a whole lot better now than what she did before. And also, too, we discovered we do have a hole in the differential cover, so we have a new one of those on the way as well. Uh, not a new one, but a good use one on the on the way. So it never ends. Um, as soon as you fix one thing, you know you find three more things that need to be fixed. And so this car was never intended to be a restoration project, but it certainly seems to be turning into that real quick. There you have it guys there's the latest update on the vet and we are happy to have this thing done so we can move forward now and the rest of the areas that we want to go ahead and fix in the floors we can take care of when we take the carpet and the seats out of the car and we'll patch those up then so we'll take care of that then all right guys thanks a lot once again for tuning in we appreciate you guys stopping on by hope you had a good time we certainly did we love working on these things but uh, we'll talk to you guys soon take care of yourselves peace bye